What's up, Undertoads? This is Derek from Classic Game Room. And actually, that's that's not Derek from Classic Game Room. That's the Super Mario Galaxy 2 logo. And I was uh, walking around town the other day, and I saw this in the store window. And there was no way I was passing up the opportunity, really the life-changing opportunity, to have a B Mario action mini uh, mini figurine. Or if you want to be a dick about it, a toy. So let's get this thing open. And look at this. Here's, here's, the, here's the goods. This is what we've been looking for. All this extraneous plastic. And there he is, in all his glory. The Bee Mushroom and Bee Mario. I wish I could explain to you how happy I am right now. So let's start with the, the star of the show here. This is the B Mario figure. And uh, as you can see, very nicely done, very detailed. Mario in his, uh, his B suit, which he got in Super Mario Galaxy. Um, not Super Mario Galaxy 2, incidentally. But uh, despite what it says on the box, this is from Super Mario Galaxy 1. You would get the B suit. And he could flutter around, you know, Mario would, you know, he would sort of float like this, with his, you know, his stinger shaking in the air. It was so adorable. And one of the really neat things is that Mario's wings are actually clear plastic. So that kind of looks neat. As you can see, yeah, his shoes very detailed. He even has the stitching on his, uh, his overalls, his, his, his pants. And of course, it also comes with the bee mushroom, and, uh, this thing's actually really sweet. It's a lot bulkier than the Mario figure, as you can see. It's, you know, it's much thicker. It's heavy. Er, I guess. It's not heavy. I mean, you're not gonna, you're not gonna exert any physical effort to carry it, but it's, it's, it's heavier than the Mario toy. Um, it's not hollow either. Or at least, it doesn't feel too hollow. And one criticism I do have about this particular Mario toy uh, is that some of the details aren't executed quite as well as some of the other Mario toys you find uh, out on the market. Uh, and there are, there are a lot lately, which is, if you're a Nintendo fan, which is good news. Uh, and, and the good majority of them are, are very well made. This one, on the other hand, you can see some details that not quite executed as well. As you can see, Mario's sideburn, you know, his hair here, That there's that little dot of paint that doesn't cover all of his hair. As you can see, his nose is a little, little banged up. And uh, I mean, for $8, that is something to consider. Um, of course, if you're a hardcore collector, that won't bother you in the slightest. Uh, and it shouldn't because, you know, once you play with this thing or you know, if you just set it on your shelf like, a, like most collectors, um, you know, you don't even notice that stuff. And the, you know, the benefit, of course, is that, hey, it's Mario in a bee suit, all right? It does, you know what, they could have this thing could be black and white, and it would still be the best damn toy in America. And there you have it, from the Super Mario Galaxy 2 line of collectible toys, uh, this is the Bee, Bee Suit Mario. And if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna be a collector nerd, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give Mario a little bath, rinse him off, and he's going on my shelf, so let's... Come on, Mario, it's time for your bet. No, I don't want to do it. Oh, come on, Mario, it'll be okay. Look, it's just a little bit of water. No, I don't do it to me, Derek. I tell you, I don't you know what you're doing. No, listen, Mario, I, I know for so I know you're, you don't want to do it. I know, Mario, stop. Mario, don't sting me. What, what's wrong with you? I don't want to go in the water, Derek. I don't make, oh, no. Oh, no, Mario. No, what have I done? Mario! Mario, are you okay? Speak to me! Oh, oh no! Mario! Two, three, four, five, one! Mario! Oh, Mario, speak to me! Oh! I, uh, I lost my bee suit.